Today I'm going to introduce you to Trinket, an innovative online tool that we are going to be using to strengthen our programming skills. Trinket is an all-in-one browser-based coding environment designed for education. Trinket allows you to make and remix what are called trinkets. You can think of a trinket as an online coding project written using a real-world programming language like Python that anyone can remix to learn how to code. We will be using Trinket to provide you invaluable practice opportunities. You can think of the trinkets that I create for you as Python challenges that you must remix to complete. Before you can proceed, you will need to create an account on Trinket. Simply go to the Trinket website, click sign up, and then follow the prompts providing the information necessary to create your account. Before you can begin using Trinket, you need an account. So I'm going to go ahead and do a Google search, look for Trinket, should be the first result. When I get to the web page, I'm going to go to where it says sign up. You can sign up using a username, email, password combination, or you can sign up with a service. I'm going to try to sign in with Google. And I'm going to sign in. My Aurora account. And there I am, I have my account. Now I'm going to walk you through the steps of completing a Trinket project. Begin by clicking on the project link that I provide you. This right here is a Trinket. It is a little code project online. On the left, you have the code for the project. And on the right, you have instructions that I create for you that you need to follow. And then you also have a results tab. So this is how you interact with the program and see its results. If you aren't already signed in, you will need to log into Trinket and reload the page. I'm going to go to the upper right hand corner and click on where it says log in. I have the choice of logging in with my username password combination or with the service that I signed up with. I signed up with Google, so I'm going to click on sign in with Google. When I do that, you can see in the upper right hand corner that now I'm logged in and it will also show me my list of trinkets, I have settings, all different types of things. So once you're logged in, you're gonna to have to go back and what I do is I just go back and click on the link again. This time, you will notice that you have this green remix button in the upper right hand corner and you have the little person icon. That's how you know that you're logged in and you need to be logged in because you are going to be remixing the projects. Next, click remix. I'm going to click on the green highlighted remix button to remix the trinket and you'll notice that it comes back and says remixed in green. Then click on instructions. Read and follow along with the step-by-step -step instructions to make the changes needed to complete the program. As always, reading directions is critical. In a trinket, I have the instructions right here. You need to click on the instructions tab and you will see that there is a project introduction, there's a getting started section which reviews exactly how to go about completing a Trinket project. One of the things I go over is how you can use this menu in the upper left hand corner to increase the font size. You can also use it to go full screen. So you've got a lot of tools here to make coding a lot easier. Then I'm gonna go over with you how to remix the program. So you need to read everything in here. I tell you what changes you need to make to the trinket to make it function and to prove to me that you know how to program. So the next thing you're going to do in the project is you're going to follow the directions under remixing the program. You're going to edit any of the code that needs to be edited over here. As you edit it, you're going to click on the run button and it will have results. And this is where you type in user input and it'll show you any errors that you have. The programs that I give you are not complete. So at the very beginning, there's going to be errors. Just follow the instructions as best you can, code in the editor, and run until the program functions as expected. Finally, you need to save and share your remix. Once you've completed remixing the project, you wanna make sure that you save, make sure that you've run the program and that you've tested it thoroughly before moving on. Then you go to instructions and I have the instructions for how to share your program. So make sure you've saved the program. Then you're gonna to go to the menu and click share under sharing. 
that's going to bring up a window that looks like this and you need to copy using control C or command C this URL into your clipboard. This is what you will submit to me. Let's quickly review the steps involved in remixing a Trinket project. Start by clicking the link to the project. If you haven't already logged in, you will need to do so and reload the page. Then click Remix and follow the step-by-step -step instructions to complete the project. Finally, save and share your project, copying its URL into your clipboard. This is the link that you will be sharing with me.